okay next we'll going to see uh, some more things on uh, this multi clock okay so d now what we are going to see detecting and uh, using end point of a sequence in multi clock context okay detecting and using end point of a sequence we have already discussed uh, dot end point one keyword is there to detect the sequence of an end point right so we'll discuss more on that to detect the end point of a sequence when the clock when the clock of the source sequence is different than the destination sequence method matched method matched on the source sequence is used you are getting this one uh, we are having uh, two sequences okay so the source is working at source and destination both the sequences are working under different clocks in that case yeah if both the clocks are the same uh, both the clocks are same then dot ended you know we have already discussed about this uh, uh, keyword dot ended okay dot ended used to detect the end of a sequence there are two scenarios first one is if you are using two different clocks then yeah method matched on the first sequence uh, first or uh, sequence is used if both the clocks are the same then dot ended dot ended is used to detect the end of a sequence okay if clocks are different then dot matched are used to detect the end of a sequence okay so the syntax for that thing is dot matched when we will use dot matched if both the sequence using different clocks look at this example here we are having sequence 1 sequence e1 and sequence e2 okay now what's happening here we are checking dollar rows of a rows means what a has to rise from low to high right okay if that has occurred after one clock cycle delay b should occur then one more clock cycle delay c should occur this is the first sequence okay now come to this second sequence here what's happening at passage of system clock okay reset should occur both the different clock look at here here clock a system clock okay now what we are using reset first the reset uh, signal should occur then one clock cycle after uh, later uh, instant inst uh, signal then after one clock cycle e1 what is that e1 e1 is an another sequence right okay now we are passing three variables ready procedure 1 procedure 2 uh, process 1 process 2 okay so you are passing these three signal as a actual to this sequence then dot matched dot matched means what why we are using dot matched here you know both the clock different yeah here we are using system clock there you are using clock that's why you are using matched clock then wha what is this that is the no no that will come like this first uh, that stripe then error mark after one clock cycle uh, delay we are expecting branch back okay so this is all about two sequences okay next uh, so uh, this method you know method matched only tests for the end point of e1 this and has no bearing on the starting point of e1 yeah here actually wh when this ma method will be matched you know this complete sequence should be finished right yeah so the method matched only test for the end point of the e1 end point of the e1 is after c right and has no bearing on the starting point of the e1 it depends on the end point of e1 not the starting point of e1 okay so we are going to discuss the final layer that is assertion directive layer so far we have seen boolean expression layer sequence declaration layer and then property declaration layer now we are going to discuss about the last one assertion directive layers okay 
so uh, this is at uh, various layers in system very log boolean expressions a regular sequence and property declaration okay at last at the top we are having assertion directives what are all those assertion directive assert cover bind these are all the examples for assertion directives okay okay under this uh, under this topic we are having small small sub topics what are all those things concurrent assertions concurrent uh, under that uh, concurrent assertions we are going to see assert directive assume directive cover directive these are all three different directives okay next uh, embed concurrent uh, assertion in a procedural code how to embed uh, how we can embed the current uh, concurrent assertion in a procedural code next uh, using a concurrent assertion statements outside the procedural code first we are going to see how to use inside a procedural code second outside a procedural code then clock resolution after that we are going to see about bind bind concept bind and accept uh, sorry expect uh, directives